Hi guys, I've partnered with Tress Wellness and this video will be all about their waxing kit. I am so excited. So as you can see, they sent me multiple wax beads, um, lavender, peppermint, um, tea tree, eucalyptus, and I believe lemon. Yes, that is the lemon. They also sent me a um, pre-wax cleanser. After wax spray. Small application sticks and large application sticks. And of course, they sent me a digital wax pot. Yes, it is digital. That stood out to me the most because I love a digital wax pot, baby. And they also sent a couple of brochures and a um, collar for your wax warmer. Keeps it from getting all dirty. Okay, now I'm just opening up the wax warmer. And that was two spray nozzles for the after wax and... Um, wax spray this is a little wax pot that goes inside of the wax warmer and that's where your hard wax beans will go I'm about to plug this baby up as soon as I get that little um, <laughs> string off the card So at first I was going to use the eucalyptus wax beads, but then I changed my mind because the pot is purple, my nails are purple, so I said we're going to roll with lavender. Plus, lavender is very soothing for the skin. So, let's get them in the pot. So I went ahead and poured that whole mini bag in the pot. I'm going to put the top on it and I am going to turn this wax warmer all the way up just to get the wax beads melting and to get the pot hot. As you can see, the numbers are going up and the light on the pot is red, which symbolizes that the temperature of the pot is not yet to what I set the pot to. While those wax beans continue to heat up, I'm just opening the um, pre-wax spray, which is pre-wax cleanser. And I'm op opening the after-wax spray, which is like a solution to calm your skin after the wax. The two nozzles did not come in already, so I'm just going to go ahead and stick a little hole in and put those in. Or you can simply peel off that little piece of paper and put it on, I just poked a little hole and stuck it in. Either or will work. I'm opening up my large application sticks and I'm checking on that wax warmer. The pot is now at 257 degrees, which means my beads are starting to melt. I'm just going to give it a stir. You need to stir your pot. That's going to be very important when it comes to getting the perfect consistency. As you can see, it's still a little thick. It's not yet ready. So just put the top back on and let it continue to melt. Go back in about 10 minutes and give it another stir. And that's what I'm doing here. You want your wax to come to about a honey 
or um, brownie batter consistency. That symbolizes that the wax is almost at the right temperature. Here you can see my numbers are going down. Once the wax got to that consistency, I turned the pot down and I let it continue to drop. You want to get your pot to about 140, between 140 and 160 degrees Fahrenheit. This consistency is still a little too liquidy. So here we're back again. The pot is at 140 and it's ready to be used. I'm just going to do a test strip on my wrist to make sure that the wax is not too hot before I apply it to my bikini line or my client's bikini line or anything. The wrist is always a safe place to test out the temperature of the wax. Okay, y'all, so this pot is on point as far as temperature. The wax was not too hot. It spread on easily, and it was just perfect. So the temperature of the pot was accurate. I love that, and it's digital. I love it. I cannot stress it enough that I love the digital pot. Also, the light on the pot is green, which symbolizes that it's the temperature of the pot is where I have it set to. So I turned it down to 104 degrees Fahrenheit. The light is green, which means the pot is at 104 degrees Fahrenheit. And as you can see, the hat came off. No burns. Came off easily. So yeah, the next video will be a demonstration video um, on a bikini line. So you guys go check that video out and make sure you go order from Tress Wellness. Bye-bye.